Warriors, welcome back to my channel. We made it, we are in Rome. I cannot believe we're finally in Italy. We got on the plane at like six something in the morning. I've gotten about two hours of sleep. So today is just kind of a browse everything day. And then um, tomorrow we will have, we'll have a game plan. But yeah, we're just taking in the scenery and we're gonna get some food because I want spaghetti and meatballs. So that's the, the first thing that I wanna check off my list. Uh, the sauce is definitely different. It's more kind of like a German sauce. Ooh, we should go in there. Oh, it's so pretty. This is what I was just looking up to. Oh, like all shit. Yeah, I know, but it's so pretty. Especially when they treat your bags and Ryan. <laughs> oh my God, they yeah, Ryanair. <laughs> they, they smash your stuff. All right, we're gonna maybe shop a little bit because the store I is I said really we go to pretty. Trevi Fountain. Then we're gonna go to Trevi Fountain. We're just kind of winging it, but I feel so good now that my stomach's actually full. Let's go in here. I want to see. Well, you want to get some cheap ones? That's where we need to get our magnets from. One euro. When you enter the Pantheon, apparently you have to be a little bit more covered up. So good thing JR didn't wear a tank top today because they wouldn't let him in. But I had to pull the back of my dress up. Like I'm wearing a maxi dress, but they still wanted me to pull the back of my dress up. I don't think you up. can turn that way, dude. <laughs> I don't think that's a street that you're supposed to drive. I mean, you're tech, you're tech, I mean tech, you're Yeah. True. You run that lady toes, toes over. True. Well, now we're headed to the Trevi Fountain. But I mean, if we see more cool stuff, then we're just gonna keep going. But uh, man, I just seen that same lady on the other side of that building <laughs> with that same picture. I swear, you know what I'm talking about? No, I didn't see her. She's a ninja. <laughs> no, we didn't. Yes, there's gelato shops it's everywhere. That same fucking lady. Look, they got they got helmets. Let's see how much their helmets are. Maybe I can see it. We made it to the Trevi <laughs> The lighting is so horrible because it's so bright out here, but I am going to throw a euro in the coin and I'm gonna throw a euro in the coin. I'm gonna throw a euro in the fountain so I can come back. Okay. We'll see if it works. I don't know if I throw it over the back of my head, I feel like I'm not gonna make it in. Not nobody else. Because I throw it over your shoulder. I can't see you. Yeah, you can't at all? <laughs> no, I'm saying, how do I flip the camera around? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Just throw it straight over. Ready? Okay. 
yesterday and tomorrow we have the actual tickets for the Coliseum we have some VIP entrance thing for where the gladiators uh, walked in and then we're going to uh, the Vatican museums so tomorrow's the actual time crunch kind of like how I was in um, Paris Ooh, cool building literally everywhere but just like in Paris when I had time crunches, pretty much the same thing. Um, we have a ticket, so we have to be up really, really early tomorrow, but uh, I hope I get to find some cute stuff while shopping in Italy, and oh my gosh, just look. There's literally just cool stuff everywhere. It's 100 degrees today. I have brought some cute little dresses, but the material that they are, I would show booty sweat in like two seconds, so. I'm glad I actually brought some like casual clothes because it is too, 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 too hot to be wearing some cute stuff. Like yesterday I could get away with it because my dress was black and I had a long maxi dress on, but um, at least black you can't see any sweat stains. And that's, a, <laughs> that's a big no-no for cute Instagram pictures. We took a break from shopping. We got some pizza. So we both got this. Whatever he's eating, two waters for only six euro, which is not bad at all. Because anywhere else that would have been at least like 15 euro. But went to Zara, found a pair of pants, but no look for the specific dress that I'm looking for. But we're still walking. Your shit was only a dollar ten. Oh yeah, because they do it by weight. Mine was two two dollars. So a dollar ten. For that much pizza, it's not bad. And it's really good. Like we ordered, pizza, we ordered pizza last night to the hotel, but it took two hours to get there. So we did Uber Eats instead, and we went to um, what, what did we get? McDonald's from Uber Eats. So by that time, we were already really, really cool. The McDonald's in Italy tastes a lot like uh, McDonald's in the U.S. It's not like as far as uh, German, where it tastes a lot different. But it's really good. It's like crust pizza. I don't know. We just walked about 40 minutes from the non-touristy place to the touristy place again. And everyone that said that Birkenstocks are the most comfortable shoes to travel with. My feet are killing me. Oh my goodness. I got some blisters. I understand you're supposed to break them in, but I, I don't know if after this point it's going to be broken in, but we're headed to the Roman Forum. You can see the Colosseum from here, but we're not actually going to explore the Colosseum till tomorrow. But that is where we're going. One of the wonders of the world. Ugh. 100 degrees today but it definitely feels like it's way 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 hotter half an hour break I got some french fries I got to rest my feet a little bit and I definitely <laughs> I needed it just a minute to uh, feel like a normal human again but okay. right here we just found out to go to the Vatican um, we can't wear tank tops 
or any revealing clothing. And my outfit for tomorrow <laughs> is kind of a midi crop top situation and a skirt. So I have to find some kind of shirt to put on it because the only t-shirt I have is this one. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to find something that's cute that's like a black top that I can put over just when we go to the Vatican. to get over here and then they're supposed to give us some kind of ticket and then we're supposed to Uber back to the Coliseum around 12, 12.30. I am bruised, I am blistered. Hopefully, so this is the outfit for today and um, I brought a t-shirt, like a touristy t-shirt just in case I have to cover up this. Um, we'll see. They said you're not supposed to have tank tops, but a lot of people have tank tops and like sleeveless stuff, so. So I wanted to be more stylish, so I got a scarf. But I'm already dripping in sweat. Like the under boob sweat is absolutely real. Um, but we are on our own now. The tour guide got us our tickets. It's actually pretty, pretty easy to kind of navigate around. And then um, you see a bunch of people that do have group tours. And we're just gonna see the Vatican and all the beautiful art and just everything. I'm so excited. It's so pretty out here.
like, how? This is the most beautifully painted ceiling I've ever seen. So we just went into the Sistine Chapel and we saw the creation of Adam, which is the two fingers pointing at each other and you cannot record in there. You cannot take any pictures. I had to cover up my shoulders. Like it was a whole thing. But when I say like all the paintings were 3D, like bouncing off the wall and the most beautiful artwork I have ever seen in my entire life. And I don't know how it's so well preserved. I don't know how he managed to paint all that stuff, but it's literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like you could literally sit there and just see all the stories. And it's just, it's so much like literally hours. You could just sit there and just take it all in. So I just, I can't believe it. I'm learning history, I'm seeing things, and it's a bucket list. to get some food and try to walk into Vatican, Vatican City. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> try to walk into Vatican City so that we, we can say that we went to another country. to the private area this is the actual main area but uh, now we can uh, scrape it off of our uh, map that we went to another country but oh my goodness so big I don't know I think we skipped the whole line to get in here but we're in Vatican City the people out here are very aggressive when it comes to trying to sell you stuff it's, it's really 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 bad Oh, time to go. So we signed in with uh, the Get Your Guide people. That's why we have these little stickers on. And that's our tour guide. <laughs> and uh, we're supposed to do like a VIP gladiator entrance thing. I'm really excited, but at least with the tour guide, we know what we're looking at. We'll know the history. Because a lot of the stuff you either gotta get like the, the audio guide or know how to read Italian. <laughs>
the Coliseum. It was amazing. It does suck that like four months ago they did start like the construction on the actual ground floor. So there is construction esque in all my Coliseum pictures, but it's still crazy that you know so many people died there and there were animals from Africa and they're fighting and it's just it's so amazing. But right now we are at Palatine Hill and my feet are done for. I hope you're prepared how bad they are. So I have sunburn really, really bad. I have blisters. This is the skin stuff I bought for my feet. Yes, I have ugly feet, I know it, but my ingrowns are messed up. The blisters are swollen, but it's worth it. This is the last day, so we're just seeing it slow but yeah we literally did everything that we needed to do when we were here i'm just need to kind of slow down a little bit because my feet really hurt but it's amazing rome is freaking awesome this is number two spain being number one this is number two so it's really good I've ever sweat so much yeah, in my life. Sure. What'd you get? Oh With some sweet. My whole body is like wet, and then when it dries, it's like salty. <sighs> Y'all, it's the day that we have to go home. <laughs> I love Italy. It's amazing. We had to do a lot of walking. My feet are blistered, sunburned. Chub rub is just not happy. I like I was covered in sweat all day, so you could like feel the like the salt granules. Yeah, that's a big word. <laughs> On my body, every time like the sweat would dry, then I start sweating again. So it's kind of gross, but all the walking was worth it. We got to see the Colosseum, we got to see the Trevi Fountain. I really hope I captured a lot of cool stuff for you to see, but honestly, I never know if I have good vlog footage until I start editing it because I'm just in the moment and I'm like, okay, I don't wanna take away from the experience, but I still wanna vlog. So I always say that I'm kind of a bad vlogger because I really don't know if I ever have a good enough footage for you guys, but yeah, it was amazing. The Coliseum, it did kind of suck a little bit that they were doing like some restoration stuff on the ground floor. I think they're trying to open up the tunnel because there's a tunnel that goes from the Coliseum underground to the actual gym, but I don't even know when that's going to be open and they just started doing all the stuff for it, um, I think four months ago the guy said. But it was just amazing. All the history everywhere. When we went to go see um, the creation of Adam painting in the Sistine Chapel, like you walk in, I couldn't do any videos. I couldn't take any pictures, but just a lot of stuff you really have to see. Like videos, pictures, and all that stuff really can't capture it. And it feels kind of good to put your phone away and just really take in the art. Like there's people sitting in there probably for hours just looking because there's so much stuff to look at. But I love the history. I love learning stuff. It's so amazing. Um, I think I'm going to do a series where I do like a survival guide for each country that I've been to. Um, so far, Italy spain uh the czech republic france i'll do germany and let me know where you guys think i should go visit next i'm just checking off them lists off the bucket list <laughs> eating spaghetti in italy eating pizza in italy those are like big deals and having limoncello oh, it was strong but i hope you enjoyed this video all my butts and ums but thank you guys so much for watching this video and coming on my journeys with me it means a lot to me um hit a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't already and join the tattoo barbie family
family and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos yeah comment down below what country you think i should visit next so until next time i'll see y'all beautiful people later bye